Hi, I'm Dan Downing from Mentora. If you're looking at this page, you've probably already figured out that the biggest benefit of using our MQ Accelerator is how much work it saves and how quickly you can be testing. But there's a second, less obvious benefit, and that is measuring the round trip time of a message. Now, you might assume that a load runner script you develop yourself will do this for you automatically, but this is not the case. Let me explain why. First, let's start by defining message round trip time. That's the time it takes for a message to travel from the arrival queue where it initiates its journey through the application or applications that process it and back to the response queue where it completes its round trip. Now, this message round trip time is very key to determining the scalability and message throughput of the application. But more importantly, it's something the business really understands and is likely going to be asking about. So here's an example. One customer was trying to migrate off of a DB2-based system, a catalog application that links suppliers and buyers, and onto a Unix Oracle system. The big concern was, could the Oracle system support their full book of business? They also had observed that while DB2 could support the full load, that under certain peak load conditions, message round trip times degraded sufficiently as to threaten their SLAs. So what we did is we conducted a throughput test on both systems. We used Load Runner and our MQ Accelerator to push the same number of messages onto both DB2 and Oracle. Using unique functionality in our MQ Accelerator, we were able to show that round trip times through Oracle were both faster and more consistent than they were through DB2. The throughput graphs that we generated convinced the customer that they could go forward with their, with their migration confidently. If you'd like to learn more about this, we invite you to download our white paper and read more about it.